Thank you, Marilyn. As the investigation continues, the News for Jack's I team is looking at how high temperatures can go inside a shipping container. I team investigator Vic Michelucci went to the fire academy to see how quickly temperatures can become deadly. This is a trailer very similar to what these people were in near the U.S. Mexico border in Texas. Here in Florida, the temperatures today around 90 degrees. There in Texas, it was 103. So we wanted to go inside and see just how hot one of these containers can get. Firefighters say it is quite literally a death trap. At the Fire Academy of the South, first responders are used to training in high heat, but they have protective clothing, oxygen, and water. None of that appears to be the case for the migrant trailer smuggling dozens of people in Texas. I would think 70 people, they would be sitting you know, basically shoulder to shoulder, front to back. You close it up, there's no ventilation of air. Jason Carpenter is director of the fire school. We asked him to help us with an experiment using a comparable container to the one in Texas. We started at 11.30 a.m. using an infrared thermometer. So we're looking between Probably 90 degrees. 90 to 95 degrees. 95. With the temperature of the sides of the, the metal container itself, 100 plus degrees. We closed it off and returned two hours and 15 minutes later. It's now 1.45 in the afternoon. We're going to open it up. Mm -hmm. See how hot it's gotten during that time. You can feel the rush of hot air come out of it. Yeah. Inside, it feels like a convection oven. Obviously, we don't know how long the people were in there in Texas. And conditions are actually cooler here than in the desert. But it shows the danger. 111. That back wall, 131. Remember, we're talking degrees Fahrenheit. By just being in there a short time, you easily become dehydrated. And even if you had some water with you, um, within just an hour or two. We opened another trailer, which has been sealed all day. This one's even hotter. 135 from the ceiling, 140. 142. It can take much less for someone to have heat stroke and die. It is horrific to think about, but no surprise that more than 50 people lost their lives. As the investigation continues, federal officials say they want to make sure that something like this never happens again. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. We'll continue bringing updates to you on this deadly smuggling tragedy out of San Antonio. We'll do that on air, online, and on News 4 Jax Plus.